Welcome to Top 10 Features of Pathwave ADS 2021. In this video series, we are looking at all the great new enhancements done in ADS 2021 release. This video is on FCE model generation. And please note, this capability was introduced few releases back in ADS. However, a lot of enhancements has been done in the current release, making it suitable for a variety of applications which you might intend to do with this kind of model. So let's understand how can we extract FCE model and what it is. The need of FCE model arises from the fact that traditional envelope simulation requires a lot of simulation time, as we also discussed in the last video of compact test signal. Now compact test signal allows designers to run a segment of the entire waveform and perform some initial measurements such as EVM. And that's a perfect solution if you are a circuit designer. However, if you have the whole IP and you need to validate in a real system operating condition, it can't be done using compact test signal approach because you need to play with various payload configuration, various user configuration, MIMO configurations and so on. So FCE approach is far more suitable as we can take this model, we can extract this model from our circuit design and then use it in our system design platform, offering much higher flexibility. In terms of speed, you can notice here using fast envelope technology, we are able to run simulations in a much faster manner for variety of modulation bandwidth cases. Level 1, 3, and 5 provide you option to extract the right model for the right waveform and the right amount of nonlinearity uh, based behavior. Level 1 works very nicely with uh, uh, narrow bandwidth kind of signal. Level 3 is for wide band and a normal nonlinear based circuit. And level 5 is for wide band and highly nonlinear circuit extraction. So, using the right model, you can get desired amount of accuracy as well as benefit from the faster simulation speed. Once we extract the FCE model, we can then go to system view design environment, which is a system level design platform offered by Keysight. And this model can be inserted into the 5G, Wi-Fi, radar, or any kind of modulated signal analysis which you may be performing. Now this FCE model could be extracted either from Cadence Virtuoso design platform, using Golden Gate Simulator offered by Keysight or your favorite design platform such as ADS. So either of these two tools can extract FCE model which can be included inside system view. Now, while being in system view, you also open up possibility for a lot of other unique capabilities, such as link to Keysight 89600 VSS software, which is the state of the art demodulator to perform various testings or various modulating standard. And this is the same software which hardware guys use to validate their DUTs on test bench. Having the same software work with system view gives you a leverage to do one-to-one -one comparison and use the latest technology available for various wireless standards. So great benefit there. Also, using FCE, you can create behavioral model for your components and share the IP with your key customers because the model is encrypted into a binary format. So all the IP remains confidential. So let's see how can we extract FCE model. It's actually very simple. You need to have an envelope-based simulation test bench. And inside envelope controller, you can enable fast envelope and select the right level for your modeling as depending upon your circuit as well as the bandwidth you are looking for. Now, once you set this up, you run simulation, you can observe the modulated signal performance as you would typically see. And in this case, you can see with level three FCE model, I have an EVM of around 14.6%, and here is a nonlinear spectrum out of it. Once the simulation finishes, inside the data folder of the workspace you are working in, you will have .fce file generated. And this file, if you try to open in a notepad editor, you can't see anything, all the IP is protected because it's a binary file format, as I said earlier. Now, once I have the model, I can switch to system view design platform, and you can watch my other videos on system view and how to use system view. It's a very flexible system level design environment. And in here, I do have a 5G source 
configured for 100 megahertz bandwidth from our 5G library. This 5G generated signal then gets up converted to 4.5 gigahertz using local oscillator and IQ modulator. Now having these blocks also give designers a choice to add any impairments which they want to use in, you know, before the signal enters the desired uh, you know, section, which is extracted by FCE. And here is the FCE model, which we just extracted. The output of FCE model is being analyzed by Keysight 89600 VSS software. Also, now because you are in system view, you can utilize the native capability of system view of bringing in MATLAB, HDL, C++ based IPs, if you want to do certain custom signal processing. So these things cannot be done using any other concept. However, when you are in system view environment, you have a lot of flexibility to do any system level validation. Also this 5G source, you can change the configuration the way you want. Now this simulation, as you can see, is continuously running. So system view is sending the data to VSS software. And once we switch to VSS software, we can see the demodulated spectrum also the constellation error in each carrier, as well as the quick snapshot of all the key figure of merits. And in here, if you observe, we get an EVM for PDSCH channel, which I have activated right now as 14.8%, which is very well co-aligned with 14.6%, which we were getting in ADS. So great value here. Now, additional thing you can do from system view, if you have this DUT available, for, for testing, you can transfer the same uh, so, you know, um, you know, signal vectors from system view environment and you can download it to this instrument here. And by putting the right IP address of the instrument, which might be connected over LAN network with your PC, you would be able to transfer the same test vector to that signal generator or arbitrary waveform generator. And that way you could do the same test vector input and then compare the output of the DUT along with your design. Great, great advantage because it saves a lot of your NRE cost, a lot of custom overhead, which you may end up doing while comparing your simulation versus measurement. So that's all for this video. Hope you liked the content presented and saw the value which FCE modeling can give you for your design and validation work. Thanks for watching and have a great time designing your circuits and systems.